everyone. We have a very special house tour with you today. It is this beautiful, iconic Art Deco building which was built in 1940. The reason why it's so special is because it's mine. So I love it and I want to take you on a little house tour. So let's go. space in the entire apartment very much the central hub of this apartment as soon as I saw those curved windows I was just like oh my god I have to have them you don't want to break these though learn that lesson it costs you a fortune it's beautiful it's light it's white I pretty much feel like I could be sitting in the middle of Greece or something I just love it all right let's go inside I'll take you to my kitchen. It's a little small, but it's not the size of counts. It's what you do with it. My beautiful plantation shutters. I'm actually gonna open this up because I wanna get some airflow through here. Ah, oh, that's better. All righty, let's take you on a tour of the rest of the house. Hi. Bing. All right, so this is the master, this is my room. I love my room. It's beautiful and it's calm and it's peaceful. And I've kept those shutters going throughout, which is really cool and super helpful for a bedroom because if you need privacy, you got it. Uh, so I really love that. And they're fun and they look beautiful and they make it. Uh, come into my bathroom. It's not gonna take long because it's quite small, but it's super cute and it's super stylish and it's got plenty of storage as well. I did a little bit of work in here and you know, I like it. It's simple and it's sweet. This is the guest bedroom. So this is where my friends get to sleep when they come and stay or if they have too much to drink and they need to sleep over and they can't drive. So not a bad way to be. Now, excuse me, because I'm going to take you outside. There's more. All right, here we go. So come with me. I bought this place when I was in my 20s and I was obsessed with the TV show, The Secret Life of Us, where they always used to hang out on the rooftop and have parties. So, safe to say, when I saw this, I had to have it. Are you ready? <gasps> Welcome. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, city views, I mean, pretty good. Hello Melbourne. And you can see down to the courtyard as well. All right, let's go back down. Come on. Watch your step again. In your pop. Okay, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go have a drink. Not too early. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <sighs> okay. So the cool thing about this building, other than the fact that I own a little slice of it, is actually its historical significance. So this building was built in 1940, and uh, the particular area we're in at the moment is Armadale. Armadale used to be kind of just all about mansions and stately homes, you know. We're talking about suburbs like Armadale, South Yarra, and Turak. And this land actually used to be part of a big old fat mansion. Back in, I think it was 1909, uh, the owner of the mansion, when he died, they basically said, right, we've got a lot of land here, let's subdivide it all up because we need to actually provide more housing for people because the population growth, all that sort of stuff. So they decided that this spot was going to be for residential flats. So that's what they did, they started to build. But all of the incredible owners of these other mansions and stately homes in these beautiful suburbs were like, 
We don't want no stinking flats. That's gross. That's going to ruin the character and charm of our beautiful, beautiful suburbs. So what they did to counteract that was that they employed leading architects to basically come in and design these incredible buildings so that they could counter that criticism of these flats going up. And what that meant was these buildings were built they looked amazing, then all of a sudden they started cropping up in magazines and features and all of a sudden they're on trend. So that is the story of this house because they employed a leading architect called Stuart Hall. He was best known for his modern architecture with jazz and art deco styling and this is very much done in the art deco styling and so he designed this in 1940 and fun fact they actually wrote an article on this building in Australian Home Beautiful in 1940 when it launched. So it's kind of a little bit of a celebrity, which is pretty cool. Recently, we have actually been involved in the external renovation of this building. It was very tired, a little bit run down, as you can imagine. I mean, she's an old gal. So we gave her a new paint job. We took her back to her original color scheme because she kind of became a really weird yellow and blue there for a moment. So we took her right back. We stripped her back to some more lighter neutral tones. And then we've also just finished the garden as well. And we were really inspired by Palm Springs gardens and that kind of Miami feel to reflect the art deco nature. So that's the vibe of the building at the moment. When it came to doing the interiors of this home, I really wanted to reflect what was going on in the outside. So I wanted to create more of a modern coastal vibe for this space. So there's a lot of warmth. There's a lot of timber and there's also just a lot of nice neutrals, but I focused on a lot of textural items as well. I love greenery. Greenery is everywhere I go. If I can fit a plant there, I will. So that's something that I just always do. There's just also a lot of color and personality because that's kind of what is, I'm all about. I love that. The other thing that really matters to me in my home is artwork. So all throughout this home, I've got beautiful, beautiful artworks. This one behind me is one of my favorites because it's actually taken, it's a photograph taken by my boyfriend of his favorite surf spot down the coast in Lawn. And I just, it makes me happy every time I see it. That's an art print. And I've also mixed art prints in and around original artworks as well from friends, because I think, you know, it doesn't matter what type of art it is. I love to see different combinations. So I've got collage from a good friend of mine, Diana Ellinger. I've got a beautiful original painting from Sarah Kelp. And I've got an amazing artwork from Rowena Martinich as well. And as well as that, I like to think about my little knickknacks here and there. So I love ceramic art. All in all, I've kept it really simple and neutral and I've sort of just chosen a few key pieces to speak for themselves. So that's it guys, thank you very much for coming on a tour of my very compact but super cute and super sunny apartment. Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you actually have a house or an apartment or a space that you want us to come and visit, leave us a comment because we'd love to hear from you. And also if you liked this video, please make it official, give us a thumbs up and subscribe below so you can be the first one to know when we have our next Let Us In House Tour. We'll see you soon, bye!